Hello everybody, this is Roy St. Vincent. This is my Ed Leoscallon's magnetic generator. It's made up of 120 Model T Ford V magnets, which came off their flywheel for their charging system. They're all arranged in north and south, paired up. There's also a ground tube that goes down the ground, about four feet. Extension comes off of it, comes over top. It's good to place stuff down there and take tests and do stuff. This is a pretty interesting thing here. Um, if you want to have a little topic here on what uh, frequencies are and and how to create them and make sound from them. But uh, take a look right here. I got this piece of metal. Got a little magnet on the end. I'm going to take this thing. I want to show you something. There's, there's some cool stuff. Watch the, watch the magnet. See it's starting to spin. Look at that thing spin. So there's a nice magnetic energy that's coming up the center of this coil I built. And with all these magnets, all the neutrals are facing in. And apologize about this, but I'm going to show you something else here. You take this, take it down bottom. And when you drop down the magnet, she hovers. And she's spinning. Magnetic strength is so strong, it's pulling. I'll put it back down. You see it spinning. And it's floating up. Now, um, I've been noticing that the magnetic field inside this wheel is spinning clockwise. So as you can see, that there's um, a lot of field inside this wheel here, and um, this is Ed Leo Scallon's uh, perpetual motion holder, and this is a glass jar, hollow inside, with uh, copper wire wrapped around it, connected to a tube and a coil that runs down the tube. It's about 18 inches long. And one thing I wanted to talk about was uh, freq frequencies. And a couple things I noticed is when you um, get the magnets in motion, um, your repetition of your frequency becomes 
something that's attached to a memory. And uh, I also um, uh, realized, uh, if, if anybody ever taken apart a speaker out there, um, they, it's pretty interesting how you push that volume out a speaker when it's just layered magnets with a, a metal shaft in between it um, with a positive and negative energy be sent to it and then all of a sudden it just has this voice coming out. Um, you know, the, the magnets uh, have the same capabilities on, on doing stuff like on trying to uh, levitate stuff, for instance. Uh, when you um, hit the right frequency of the item that has the same frequency, you will uh, also have it levitate. And you can see here that this wheel just wants to turn. I want to drop it down again. You can see that there. So, what I noticed so far, when you get the wheel spinning real fast, with this magnetic field inside, when you break it down through using your PMH, you can shift the poles from being positive and negative, and what you do is create a push. And it takes the wheel and it sends it off. But there's other things going on here, I'm wondering if you can notice that um, there's a strong magnetic field, and I don't know if you can see it in the camera, I'm going to back the camera up a little bit, but it is so strong inside here, and it's because this whole cavity is wrapped in magnets, and they're all connected around, and just look at that thing hovering, it, it's, it's, it's spinning, and it just dropped. When you get that right G spot, you can obviously see that um, that you could use that magnetic force for a lot of things. We're going to be uh, doing one more segment here uh, after this video, and what I'm going to do is finish it out with the clove leaf on top. And um, what we're going to be doing is uh, one more video. And then after that video, we're going to break it down and rebuild it and show everybody how to make it, help everybody order in parts. Um, this has the capability. With the right tuners, with the right... With the right tuners and the right shifting, Definitely got its spots. You can see how it just takes off and rips. And there it is there. It's um, taking that near down the magnet and it's giving it a nice twirl. Okay, guys, well, that's pretty much it for today. Um, 
you can see you pull it out, it's gone, bring it back in the field, and it just pretty much does its thing. I'll do one more drop from up top, I kind of like that. Put that, sit down there, and I'm going to drop it. So, um, yeah, I got this um, Mott here and uh, putting high voltage into her, get her spinning. And then on the inside there, we got a couple things to finish, but uh, sending the um, positive energy to the center of it and allowing the outside to create positive and negative energy. And by using the PMH as a timer and... Uh, and then using your tuner here with your, it's sort of like a Tesla coil. Um, it, it's based up with the same, with the same voltage going into it. And, and it starts off from a, a, a thicker wire coil in the bottom and it works its way up. And through the top here, we're uh, creating fre frequencies and um, I'm doing tests with stuff to see what, what it neutralizes because, uh, like I said, everything does have its residency. And once I figure out how to tune this together, um, I should be able to create frequencies to lift it up. Hey, uh, you guys have a great day. Um, sorry about the delay. Um, uh, like I said, one more video. We'll finish it out. Then we're going to go ahead and break it all down. And then we're going to go ahead and rebuild it. And then during that time, too, I'm going to bring in uh, telephone conversations um, while I'm doing stuff uh, they're going to call in and we're going to talk about stuff and we're going to record it too and and um, make great topics so everybody can have their input for use that people that don't have this at home or the, the means to do it um, we together can build this and then together we can try different tests so all of us can have our hands in on this machine here. So, but as uh, far as the way this all works, uh, it's, it's pretty simple. And uh, once you do uh, understand some of the basics of what it takes to give the uh, positive and negative energy a job, um, it'll do the job all the time. It never fails. But you guys have a great day. First time subscribers, man, rock on. Thank you very much.